Hi everyone, I wanted to share this very special project with you. I made this printer's tray and I made it as a present for myself for my birthday. I had a very difficult time and well I thought I'd uh, make, some, make something that uh, was specially for me and has all the things in it that I like and love and, and I wanted to share it with you all it's a, a printer's tray I did very little to the printer's tray itself I bought it like this in a local store here and I like the color so I left it like it was I decided that I wanted my favorite color in there and that's blue actually all kinds of blues but this teal blue is also the color of my uh, scrap room together with uh, brown and black and white but um, I love uh, blue colors in every compartment I try to put things that have meaning to me in some way so I'm gonna zoom in on the first row and then I try to explain in the first compartment I used um, on the backgrounds I used book paper and music note paper and in the first compartment here you can see a little uh, rose peeking out because I curled back the the paper uh, in the background is a graphic 45 uh, piece of paper with ABC on it and this is a willow heart with a little heart stick pin in there on the corners and then down uh, the, old, the whole printer tray is the word love and that's the, the, the title of my printer tray in the next compartment you see um, an empty uh, perfume bottle at the bottom I painted um, a paper rose black and then sprayed it with smooth spritz that I won from Graphic 45 and the color is Splash the next compartment is really the speci special one uh, because it has a picture of me and my husband in it and I found these foam roses at my local store you can see them here they're pretty big if I keep my hand on it so um, behind the rose I glued a black feather and on the back is um, a ticket with dream on it uh, in, uh, on the, the rose I put a, a pearl and on the side is a ribbon buckle with a flat back, sort of a flat back pearl then in the back right there is a, a vintage bin, a bingo chip with uh, my age on it and, um, if you cannot see it, I'm not gonna tell. <laughs> and behind my um, my picture is a, a glass diamond shaped bulb, two, per, uh, two uh, pearl beads. Then I go to the next row. Here you can see uh, two dices because we uh, like to play games so there are more game pieces just like the bingo chip and uh, in the ca compartment below there's a domino and there is a, a light bulb put it in there and that's actually because my husband he's, he's very handy he can fix anything so I wanted to tuck in things about him as well this compartment is still very empty because I needed some things from my husband 
I could not find the right thing. So that probably will uh, uh, be added on some more stuff. Com the compartment uh, below there, I have uh, the same foam flower again. I had uh, found them in three colors, the teal one, the gr and gray one and the white one. Uh, you can see I put some lace uh, around the box. There's an Eiffel Tower in there because my husband likes to uh, travel to cities. It actually is uh, a key uh, hanger. It was hanging and dangling on my keys but uh, it broke down. Well, now it finds its place in my printer's tray. There are also some uh, pearls here in the front and, and a stick pin that is stuck in the rose. The next compartment is all about tea and uh, being at home. Uh, I found this little small uh, tea pot and cup. I speckled it uh, with ge some gesso to give it some texture. texture. And also in front are the pot is standing on a um, crocheted uh, doily or actually it's a flower. And uh, again one metal uh, rose in front of there. And on the back I glued a doily to give it uh, a little homey feel. And on top of that is a button with a clock. And I actually, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a picture out of a magazine, the clock I mean. And I used the technique to... Um, to put some um, tape over the, the picture and then uh, really rub it on, put it in some water and uh, wait it for a few minutes and then rubbed the back uh, on the back I, I rubbed the, the picture off and then the image is sort of a transparent uh, image that left left on the on the tape and that piece of tape I stuck on a, a button so that's how I made uh, the clock and I think it turned out pretty cute in the back you can hardly see it but here I have another uh, picture it hangs on the wall it's a uh, it's a heart with the phrase love and then all the way up at the top maybe you can see that is a uh, crystal flower. In the teacup I put again a rose that I painted black and then I used a smooch spritz over it. And the teaspoon was initially uh, had, a, had two red compartments, the, the blue uh, one at the top and this part was also a very bright red and I did not like that very much so I went over it with alcohol ink, the metallic alcohol ink and then I painted the, the blue on with sm smooch bridge. And the next one is about spring. There are some eggs here with feathers and a bird's nest in the corner on to at, at the top. Then I found a, a while back I found uh, these earrings. I can show you. They are pretty darn cute. And it has this little teal colored bird inside. It's hanging and it's dangling. Very cute. And in the bottom corner, uh, in the top corner I mean, I rolled back the, the book paper, put in two pearls and a piece of lace. Then um, underneath there is a metal tag with a heart on it. I love these things. I have them for a few. I glued a spray on the side of the box. Okay, the last row. This box is uh, about faith. I put in a key that I um, distressed with gesso. On the key is hanging a, a heart. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. And on the back it says with all my heart. 
so that hangs there. Then I have this uh, other spray hanging there with a little tiny cross on it. On the back again uh, a flower, a paper flower with uh, which I uh, spray painted with the smooch bridge after I colored it black. And all the way in the top there's a big clay rose. The next compartment is all about summer and beach. I, uh, I'm not a big fan of winter and, and fall. I'm more of a spring and, uh, and summer person. So this is my summer compartment and my husband and I both love to go to the beach. This dangle is actually an earring, a big shell. That already was uh, the teal color. Sprayed it a little with the smooch bridge. Uh, in the bottle, there's real Dutch beach scent from a beach that uh, I I came there with my parents already when I was a kid. On top of the bottle, I glued a flatback pearl, and then uh, all the way down are some. Um, shells and some stones that I found actually not on the beach here in Holland but um, on our vacation, last vacation in Turkey. The first one is all about reading. So three books, one is standing here with some book paper and the other two are stacked up there. There are two little buttons in the corner and there's another rose with some uh, gesso on top of the books. And then we have this message in the bottle thing. There's a little uh, roll piece of uh, paper in there. It actually could have been in my beach uh, compartment because I always, when I'm on the beach, I strangely enough, I always look for bottles because maybe there could be a message inside, but I never found one. Too bad. Um, but I also lo love to write uh, in my journals, and um, so that's kind of also a bit that's expressing also. Then I have some pearls and some beads in there as well. Put a piece of uh, crochet thread and tied it in a bow. And the last uh, compartment all the way down. Again, a beautiful foam rose. And behind there is a sort of a measuring tape, but I made it myself. I had some paper tape and I taped that to regular white paper. And then I um, curled it and on the bottom there's a little there's a clothespin and a button a sewing spool also with a flatback pearl on top and after uh, behind there I don't know if you can see it it's a, a crystal flower and all the way in the back corner I made this little envelope and I stamped a letter that's coming out and in front there is uh, there are some post-it stamps from graphic 45 paper and two little buttons again and on the side the E from the word love and some mesh bling here so that's the box that I made and I hope you liked it it uh, took me a lot of time but I'm very happy with it and it's uh, ready in time for my birthday, so happy birthday to me, I guess. <laughs> and thank you all for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed it and uh, that it is uh, an inspiration to uh, some of you as well. So um, if you want, leave me a comment. I appreciate that. And uh, till next time, bye bye.